Hey there, um, meteorologist Valerie Smock, and we want to bring you an update on this snowy situation that we're going through. And I want to start off with your snowfall totals because that's what everybody is wondering. You know, how much am I going to get with this monster of a storm that's been already bringing in, in, in some places, some rainfall this morning, a bit of some sleet. We had some sleet in the backyard, but everybody at this point is dealing with just plain snow at the moment. So we'll be picking up around four to eight inches of snow across most of the area. The central Susquehanna Valley picking up around two to five inches of snow and into the Poconos, those higher elevation areas, you can pick up a little bit more than that. So we are going to be seeing some places picking upwards of nine, 10, maybe even 11 inches of snow, but we should be staying under the foot of snow range, including in places like the Poconos. So what we're going to be dealing with here is a system that is a bit of a monster of a system. As I had said, we've already been dealing with some rain, some sleet, some snow. And on top of that, winds have already been getting rather gusty across the area. So this has been a bit of a concern that we've been following here for the past several days. And you're probably wondering, OK, well, what else can I be dealing with here as we go through the rest of the day? Well, you're going to be talking about more snow, gusty winds, and tumbling temperatures. And a lot of that is going to be a concern for some power outages as well. So as we get right back to uh, what we're going to be seeing here, again, four to eight inches overall, we are going to be picking up um, two to five inches again in the central Susquehanna Valley uh, area and that's around two to five inches. The farther south you get, the lesser amounts of snow that you are going to be picking up. So everybody is under a winter storm warning and this is until Saturday evening. So this is for all of northeastern and central Pennsylvania. If you're in pink, which is all of us, <laughs> you are under that winter storm warning. So satellite and radar in a wide picture. This is a very big storm. I mean, this is impacting places from Canada down through the eastern seaboard down into Florida. And I want to point out, you'll probably see those flashes of lightning strikes. Yeah, that's some severe weather along the Atlantic seaboard. So this is bringing some severe weather along the coastal zones. And then we're on the colder aspect of this. So we're getting the snow and we're getting those gusty winds. This is essentially a cold front that's coming in with a low pressure system that started off in the Gulf of Mexico, but it's been traveling up the East Coast and those two are interacting and bringing us our monster of a storm. Closer look, now we are seeing snow across all of our viewing area, but I wanna point out uh, at least one little section from Tawanda down through Williamsport on south. Once that map stops at 1007, which is where we are now, that's where we're picking up some steadier, heavier snow at the moment. So that is something that we want to keep an eye on because that can really cause uh, some concern, especially if you're out there traveling on the roadways. Hopefully you are not having to travel. If you don't have to go out, if you're, you're not working and you don't have to maybe go to the store, if you could hold off your travel, I would do so if you can because travel is not going to be uh, very great right now. Here is what it looks like in a closer view. We are picking up again some steadier snowfall around Great Bend, definitely some steadier snowfall around Tawanda and in the southern part of your or the lower part of your screen, just to the west of Nanakoke, some steadier snowfall at the moment and that goes down through Berwick and just to the east of Shimokin. That one line of snow that I was talking about going through Williamsport, that goes down just to the west of Mifflinburg and it is passing through Beaver Springs. So this is just moving into parts of Snyder and Union County. And then that is going to continue to spread east here as we go through the next hour. All right, on south, we are seeing some lighter snow in the Pottsville area, but we are picking up some heavier snowfall uh, over toward Broadheadsville, Stroudsburg, Mount Pocono, and then up around the Wilkes-Barre Whitehaven area, a bit steadier or more moderate snowfall is what we're seeing at the moment. All right, here's future clouds and radar just to give you a better idea as to where we're going. So the heaviest and steadiest snow is going to be this morning and into the early afternoon. 
So we will continue to see the snow here for the next couple of hours in a more moderate to steadier rate. In some places, there can be some heavier snowfall. That's what we're seeing now in that line from Tawanda down through Williamsport and into Union and Snyder County. This snow will continue to lighten up as we get into the afternoon from west to east. So when you start to see that white popping up there in the left-hand side of your screen, that's some of that lighter snow that's coming in. This snow, this steady heavy snow by about three o'clock in the afternoon will really start to lighten up to more of a snow shower. And that will continue to break up as we head into the evening. Now, don't get me wrong, there still can be some periods of heavier or steadier snowfall in some of these snow showers. You'll see that in the line from Dushore down near Bloomsburg, Hazleton, and Pottsville. So, and it seems like Tawanda is really getting hit today. So I'm interested to see how much snow they receive there once all is said and done because they have had some steady snowfall here all morning. So this is going to continue to lighten up as we get into the overnight hours. You're looking at a few flurries, if anything at all. So your impact timing. Now this is yes showing you all the way back to one o'clock in the morning. Clearly we've made it past one o'clock in the morning, but this is just showing you kind of how things have evolved since the onset of this storm. So between one and 4 a.m. wasn't a big deal, low threat. When I came in this morning, roads were dry, was not a big deal. Between 4 and 7 a.m., that's when snow is really starting to get ramped up in central Pennsylvania, spreading on east, and that's why we're under a medium threat. Now, we're under a high threat at the moment. We're in between that 7 a.m. and 1 p.m. time frame. That's when the snow is going to be the steadiest and heaviest. And once we get toward the end of that, that's when winds are really going to start to pick up. Medium threat between 1 and 4, that's as snow is slowly starting to wind down but that's when winds are going to really be a concern. So speaking of winds, now these are going to be sustained winds up to 25 miles per hour, and that's across all of northeastern and central Pennsylvania, and this is going to be throughout the day today. So these winds are going to be high, and on top of that, winds can gust anywhere from 40 to even 50 miles per hour. That is going to make for blowing and drifting snow, it's going to make it feel even colder. We're talking wind chills at times in the single digits to the preteens. And on top of that, it's not only going to stay breezy into your Sunday, it's going to cause a concern for a power outage. Now this power outage risk is right now at high and that's because winds can gust in combination. Winds can gust 40 to 50 miles per hour. Plus we're talking about snow of three inches or more. So the combination of the two is making our power outage risk at high. Your wind speeds right now, these are your sustained winds. Now sustained are the constant winds. The gusts are the ones that come in real quick that you know blow in and blow out just as fast. But your sustained winds right now, anywhere from six miles per hour in State College to as much as 22 miles per hour in Mount Pocono right now in Scranton, we have winds up to about 10 miles per hour. Right now, here's our view from our WNEP roof camera. Yeah, a little on the snowy side. It seems to be snowing sideways from time to time, uh, but it is 25 degrees right now. It is not raining. I forgot to change that. It's snowing. It is clearly not raining, but it is snowing. It is 25 degrees and winds are out of the north northwest again to 10 miles per hour. Temperatures across most of the area in the 20s. We have already seen some teens for a time, and we've seen some 30s trying to hang on. Places like Sailorsburg, it's been staying in the low 30s, but we are below freezing for the entire area. German coming in at 25, Knoxon at 24, Bloomsburg, Frackville at 25. We're at 26 in Tower City, better part of the 20s into Lee Heighton, but low 20s, Wellsboro, Ridgeberry, and Forest City. As you're planning the rest of your day, well, yeah, temperatures are gonna continue to tumble. We're not getting much of a break here. These temperatures will be hovering around the mid 20s through much of the day today. We were in the 30s earlier this morning, but now as we're going through the day, we're going to be staying right around 25. We're not going to budge much from where we are now until we head toward say mid evening and that's when we'll start to see those temperatures falling again to where we're getting down to 13 degrees tonight 
It is going to be a cold night and it is still, as you remember, going to be breezy. So it's going to feel even colder than that. We're dealing with the snow through again mid-afternoon and then the winds are really going to start to pick up after that. So here's your weather memo. Rain and snow began pre-dawn on Saturday. We had that rain changing to snow from west to east. The heaviest snow early this morning through the early afternoon. So we're right in the thick of it at the moment. But the storm is expected to wrap up between about 3 to, I'd say, 6 p.m. So we're still going to be dealing with the snow for several more hours. And on top of that, you've got the winds. Those winds are going to cause blowing and drifting. Snow can fall at a rate of an inch per hour. Some places might even get a little faster than that. And on top of that, those winds and that snow blowing around, falling at a quick rate, it's going to make for difficult travel. If you don't have to be out, I would stay home, kind of avoid the roadways if you can. Um, Ryan Lucky this morning had even said he got reports that they've reduced the speed limit down to 45 miles per hour. So keep that in mind, that roads have already been reduced with speed. Just try to stay off them if you can until conditions improve later today. And even later today, the winds are going to pick up and that's going to cause that blowing and drifting. And so that will be a concern. This is some pretty fluffy snow, so it should be blowing around pretty easily. Again, your snowfall for your Saturday, four to eight inches overall. We've already picked up three inches of snow here in the backyard. We are looking at two to five inches of snow through the central Susquehanna Valley. The Poconos wouldn't be shocked if you picked up anywhere from nine to 11 inches of snow. So it is going to be a little higher in those higher elevations. The farther south you get, the lower your snow total is going to be. So I want to take one more quick look at where we are in a wider view of what uh, what the snow is right now. The snow is already, um, as we zoom in just a bit, the snow is already starting to dry out. As I I'll stop the map for you just to give you a better idea. The snow is already starting to dry out and back off in northwestern Pennsylvania and in most of West Virginia and Virginia. So there's just a little bit of snow left behind. So this is still, we're in the thick of it, but it is slowly starting to back off, as I had mentioned, from west to east. So we do still have to deal with it for a little while longer, but we're getting there. It's slowly starting to back off. If you're looking for a little bit of uh, some better news, I wouldn't necessarily say it's better news, Tonight, we spring ahead. Don't forget, this is when we change our clocks ahead from 2 until 3 a.m. And that means that's when we're going to kind of lose that hour of sleep. This is when daylight saving time begins. And so we're going to be seeing daylight kind of starting a little later. Sunrise today was 620. Sunrise tomorrow will be 718 in the morning. But if you're somebody that loves that later or the longer days, it's not necessarily a longer day, but the longer daylight hours, we're having a sunset today of 6.06. Tomorrow it sets at 7.07. .07. So that's maybe a little bit of some better news for some folks. All right. So as we quickly try to wrap this up here. So it is mostly cloudy tonight. It is going to be cold, 13 for the overnight low. Now tomorrow, kind of an increase in cloud cover as we go through the day. It does remain breezy. Winds will be sustained, I'd say anywhere from about 5 to 15 miles per hour. Gusts can get into the 20s though, 20 to 25 miles per hour. So that is still going to make it feel chilly. And we're only getting to 32 degrees. Average high this time of year is 46. We're a bit off but we're getting better. And there's also going to be some flurries, perhaps some light snow showers into the afternoon, but it would be little to no accumulation. All right, here's your extended forecast. We have the snow and the wind today, that 45, that already happened. The temperatures continue to fall. We're already at 20, we've already lost 20 degrees from where we were at midnight, but that temperature will continue to fall. 13 is where we're going for tonight. We spring ahead early tomorrow. 
then it's going to be breezy with flurries for your Sunday, 32 your high. Then we're looking up. Things are going to get better. We're going to be back in the upper 40s by Monday. Again, average high is 46, so we're back above average on Monday with a partly sunny sky. A few sprinkles not out of the question on Tuesday, but we're back in the low 50s. And each day we're increasing a couple of degrees. So we're in the low 50s again on Wednesday, partly sunny. Thursday we're at 55, partly sunny. And Friday will be partly sunny. And our high coming in at 62 degrees. So things are looking better. If you're not a fan of where we are now, by or next week at this time, it's going to be much better. So those 40s that we had around midnight, that's kind of where we're going to be next Saturday morning. All right, another quick look at your snowfall uh, totals. We are anywhere from four to eight inches for most of the area, two to five inches, the central Susquehanna Valley. And things are going to be tapering off once we head toward the mid to late afternoon to just some snow showers and even some light flurries. So what you're seeing now is the worst of it. If you can stay home and not travel, that would be my suggestion. I would stay home if you can. If you do have to be out and about, just take it slow and uh, no need to rush to get to where you have to be. Now, uh, Chief Meteorologist Kurt Aaron, he's going to be in here as we go through the afternoon. So he'll be monitoring everything. And then Allie will be in later tonight. So Allie Gallo will have your latest details as we go through the evening and into the overnight hours. And don't forget, you can always get the latest forecast and updates to this forecast on air and online at WNEP.com.